talking today about my favorite custom build. It's my personal 959 course. Uh, the foundation for this build was to try and build that spec up to like a 1299 spec without having electronics or power I don't need because honestly I can't even outride a scrambler. But I like building stuff so this is how it started. First thing I had to do was get rid of the orange and white paint. That's just not my style. So I wanted to go black. I knew I wanted to do something different. So this is all done in pinstripe paint. It's all hand done by a guy named Ink Knife up in Portland. Um, I was reading a lot of uh, Eastern philosophy and occult books and stuff at the time, so I decided that I was going to do a full-on kind of uh, Victorian era occult reading of that philosophy and build a bike scheme out of it. So the name of the bike is Garuda. It's a Hindu Buddhist Jain deity that's kind of a bird god. You can go anywhere in an instant. It's an enemy of snakes, so that's why I've got the big snake bones on the side. Uh, on the tail section, we've got two sigils. One is to fear no enemy, the other is uh, all spirits pay homage. I've got these swords kind of running throughout the scheme and that's from the Weight Rider Tarot deck. Uh, there's nine swords on the bike, which is the nightmare card. Uh, it's basically waking up to realize that your worst nightmare is coming true. And this bike was built after my previous bike was stolen. So that was kind of the foundation for it. Um, on the sides in the middle of the snake, there's two sigils against sudden death. It kind of rounds it out. But it's all black on black, so it blends in. The paint scheme on the middle here is to show off the aluminum tank. It came from a 1299. Always wanted to have aluminum tank, so that was really important to me. Um, we painted the top in silver to match that raw silver. And then my painter tinted the entire thing so that this color and this color matches the engine cases. We've also done the magnesium valve covers and oil sump from a 1299. So we did the magnesium pinstripe in the middle to kind of tie it all together. So when you look at the bike, there's only like three colors that kind of come together. Before I was working here, I was also apprenticing with a seat maker. Um, so she took the race seat for it, put uh, Alcantara on top of it, and then uh, we did the phases of the moon across the back of it. Besides doing the aesthetic stuff, I also wanted to just improve what the bike was. It was really important to me to have a bike that was built to the same spec as a 1299, but was still definitely a 959, definitely a street bike. The biggest difference in this bike is going to be the weight. A stock 959 course weighs 440. This one comes in at 382. Big change to that was in the tank. This one has a steel tank and a steel subframe. That steel subframe alone weighs about 15 pounds. My unit has a full carbon construction and it's only four pounds as it sits. The aluminum tank came from a 1299. We gave it this brushed finish, paint matched that to the front number plate and matched that to the engine cases. When you look at the bike, there's only about four different colors on the whole thing. Black, magnesium gold, and raw silver. The raw silver is gonna be on this swing arm here. It's probably one of my favorite parts. On the stock swing arm, we've got a pocket right here. We weld that up, polish the whole thing down, so all that detail work you're seeing is raw aluminum. This got filled in, and this whole piece got polished out. All this rough texture is only staying on the top. All of this got blacked out to match it. Ergonomics are a big deal for me, so I went with the Ducati Performance rear sets. It's got the shock linkage from a 1299, which allows me to flip it into a flat rate rather than progressive. The hand controls on here, I've done the Speedy Moto tapered clip-ons. I've got the Brembo RCS clutch uh, and the Brembo Corsa Porta brake. I also did a little remote brake adjuster, duple bike kill switch to make it all fit, motivation bar and sliders, and CRG arrow mirrors. If you've been to the shop at all, I've probably talked about these mirrors, they're my favorites. I can lane split with this bike just fine still.